Hi, my name is Michael Samaripa, and I'm a professional photographer from here in Austin, Texas. Today's topic that I want to talk about is called light painting. It's really cool and it's a lot of fun and a creative way to express yourself through photography. Before we get started, I need to explain some things about the types of equipment that are going to be necessary to make this a success. Naturally, you're going to need a camera of some sort. Can you use any camera? No. You have to use a camera that has the ability to set the shutter speed. It has to have a long, at least 30 second or higher shutter speed. The reason for the long shutter speed is because you're going to be moving things around and it's going to be exposing the film before the shutter closes. The second thing is that you need a tripod. You need a good sturdy one. If your camera is heavy and your tripod is weak, it could move around and fall over and your project will fail. So it's important to have a good tripod. You could use a table. You could use a bean bag. That's possible as well. The third thing that you're going to need is lighting or something to draw with. Some people like to use a glow stick. You know, at Halloween, these are the th same things that people use. You can get a variety of colors and play with them. They have blue, green, red, whatever color you want. But this is one of your options. My personal preference is to use a torch. I like the way that the light works. It's easy to draw with. It's clear. It's sharp. An LED torch is what I'm talking about. It's black and you can buy it anywhere, like at any of the home departments, on the internet, wherever you like. But this is an example of what I'm talking about. So I prefer this. Okay, is that great? That's everything that you need. So we're ready to go. So now I want to talk about and describe how you're going to achieve your vision for the artwork you've thought of. You have to have the tripod and the shutter speed, and I'm suggesting that you have a second person. Many cameras, you need to hold down the shutter button for a long time, and you're going to need the second person to do that while you're over making your design while they hold down the shutter button. So a second person is really a good idea to have. If you don't have a second person, another option is to use a remote. You can use a remote and it'll work just as well. And you can be over here holding the shutter button down on your remote and you can turn it on or off yourself. So now I'm going to demonstrate how this works and what it looks like. Are you ready? Let's go. So I'm going to turn out the lights and step back over here and show you what it looks like to creatively draw a star, for example. And I'm going to draw it with the light. And it's not going to be a full 30 seconds. I'm just going to do a little bit here with the light. And that way you can see and we're ready to go. So now we're done with that part and it's great and everything's good. But if you have any questions, concerns, if you're curious about something, feel free to contact me through my email, which is right below here on the screen. Thank you and enjoy.